Hi, Shane Searson. I'm here to talk to you about a new series I'm going to be putting out. I uh, hope to uh, get people to listen to some things that I like, but really I'm hoping that people will start to send suggestions of things for me to listen to. Uh, it's going to be called The Perfect Album. Again, now this is just my opinion of what a perfect album is, and the parameters of this for me are um, great songs, all killer, no filler, Great production, uh, engineering, great sounding album, um, and somewhat stands the test of time. Not you know, not all music can stand the test of time, but something that kind of stands the test of time is still being a staple. Again, it's just just my opinion. It's going to encompass all uh, genres of music uh, and what I consider to be perfect albums. We're not talking about singles, we're talking about albums, full CDs, whatever you want to call it. Um, again, another parameter is that no greatest hits albums, they don't count. No live albums, they don't count. Especially, uh, one of the reasons I don't do the live albums, or not going to include them, is that a lot of albums that are live have been fixed in post-production to add more vocals and add other instruments and stuff like that, which means it's not really what was happening live. It's been edited and embellished, if you want to call it that. So uh, they're probably going to come out about once a week, uh, and uh, you'll, you'll notice them. Uh, they'll be on YouTube and, and social media and stuff like that. Again, part of the reason for this is it gives me a chance to talk about why I like the album, but also uh, a little bit of a focus on the drummers on the albums. And uh, again, this hopefully will get people to not argue or whatever. If you don't agree, that's completely fine. Again, this is just my opinion. This is not based on a poll or you know, Rolling Stones top whatever, 100 albums or anything like that. Nothing like that. Just my opinion of what I consider to be a perfect album in every way. Um, so uh, that'll be coming out. Uh, I'll start it this week. I'm not sure what day yet, but uh, and what day. I'll probably get to a point where they're coming out every week on the same day. But uh, that, that'll be determined. So anyway, look for that. It's going to be fun. I look forward to uh, discussing uh, with people their uh, opinions, their suggestions, and stuff like that with this. Again, the perfect album is going to be the name of it. And again, it's 100% my opinion uh, of why I consider it to be perfect. Again, no live albums, no greatest hits albums, okay? And no repackages of, you know, something that came along later and they added to it or something like that. It's basically just releases that I like, that I grew up with, uh, that to me are staples of something in my life that I, that I attach to it, that uh, it's still something when I go to my iPod, that, and again, I still have an iPod, that I often listen to those. Uh, I don't always put dig the albums out. I have thousands of, but most of them are put away right now. Same with CDs. A lot of them are put away because I have a lot of it accessible on um, my iPod. I don't do a lot of uh, streaming. I don't, I don't have a Spotify account, stuff like that. Um, I do have Amazon Music because I have Amazon Prime. But basically, all I really listen to on that is stuff that's either suggestions or um, some CD, not CDs, but singles that people have put out where they don't have a physical CD or a full album available yet. Uh, I still prefer those if I have to order them online or whatever. That's just the way I am. So anyway, look forward to it. Look forward to putting it out. I hope you look forward to seeing it and communicating with me about it. The perfect album. Thanks.